All right, we're gonna show you how to make cane fishing poles. All right, Cody, give me a shot. Cody has a, has a cameraman today. We got about an 18 foot cane pole, freshly cut down. Well, not too freshly, but well, I've had them for about two weeks now. And they've been sitting underneath my, my porch. So I'm gonna tie some 14 pound, which is a little much. I'd like to have about an eight or something even lighter but uh, I don't have it right now so anyway we're gonna go fishing so, I'm do the old fishing hook knot I don't know the name of the polymer or whatever I don't know what it's called And then I'll run it up there. Now, we're going up here. <laughs> Katie, what are you doing? Oh. Stay with the program. He's not the best cameraman. All right, I want about the length of the pole. Here you go, right here. Put you put in here. That's where I'm gonna cut it. So I got the entire length of that pole. That's, um, Cut it here. Cut it here. All right, I got a couple of these slip bobbers, stoppers. I don't know. Um, I like to use them. It'll keep my weight, the weight of the, the weight of the hook towards the front. So this is a little new age technique here. I'm gonna take it up. Oh, about two foot. I'm gonna cinch it down right there. Boom, let's take the tube out. Okay, so we got that. We got that there. Now, they come with a bead. They come with a bead. We're gonna put that bead on. Say I am. There we go. And I've got some additional beads that I'm gonna add just to give it a little noise. I a couple of these, a couple of these beads, a little larger. And when they get that up against that slip, that slip bobber, they'll make a little rattle. Kind of attract the fish over. I guess all the help we can get. Alright. So let's let's throw that bead on. And that bead on. And then on the old cork here that I don't use and it's perfect. It's got a slip bobber. Let's put it on. Feed it through. A decent little hook. Again, probably the same kind of knot that I used to tie on the end of the pole. All right, get in there and cinch up. There we go. All right, and we're gonna add a pinch weight to it just to give it that little, that little extra weight. We need all the weight we can get. We're not casting. All we're doing is kind of swinging it out, so we're gonna give it a little more weight. And with the bobbers and the beads, that's gonna add to it as well. All right, there we go. All right, cut it. Watch this. Mr. Cody Man. All right, now we have a bobber with a little rattle. Let's see if we can hear it. Put a little in there. Might attract the little fish over. Let's slide that slip bobber down. We want about 18, 20 inches. There we go. All right, and here is the first cast.
Yeah, it's about, probably about 20 foot. Yeah, let's try it again. Let's see if we can get it on the rock. There we go. That's a cast. Nice little cane pole cast. And that, my friend, is how you make a cane pole fishing rod.